welcome terrific viewers to Animal World, our co-inhabitants. On this episode, we once again visit Hillside Animal Sanctuary, which has two facilities in the county of Norfolk in eastern England. One site is situated in the small town of Frettenham, and the other, called the Hillside Shire Horse Sanctuary, is in the coastal village of West Runton. After witnessing the cruel treatment of egg-laying or battery hens, made to sit their entire lives in unconscionably small cages on factory farms, the kind-hearted Miss Wendy Valentine established Hillside Animal Sanctuary in 1995. Since then, she has rescued and successfully campaigned to improve the lives of countless animals, particularly those mistreated and abused by the factory farming industry. The beloved sanctuary is home to over 900 rescued animals who serve as living examples of freedom and compassionate treatment. Let's go again to West Runton, where Ms. Valentine now introduces us to some of the pigs at her caring shelter. The whole family of pigs came to us um, when the lady was ill and she couldn't look after them anymore. There's a mother and father and uh, five babies. And yeah, we were pleased to give them a home. They look very happy and very relaxed. What's the story about these pigs? Via an investigation, we got this mother and, and family. Um, and one of the piggies, which is the one behind you, she had belonged to another litter where her siblings went off for the slaughter and she escaped. So this is why we got um, the mother and uh, seven well, babies. They're big babies now. They're <laughs> quite an assortment. Yeah. So when visitors come to visit the sanctuary, um, most of them have never been so close um, to a pig or a cow or a sheep and it helps them make a connection with what they're eating on their plate to the actual animal. Hopefully they get a different sort of take on what they're doing and by eating meat, um, I'll sort of think about it again and think about going vegetarian. In keeping with the promotion of animal welfare and kind treatment, the cafe on the grounds of the sanctuary is vegan. There's no way that you could even consider having showing people what goes in the factory farming industry and then sell, selling them animal produce in, in, the, in the cafe. Everything in there is animal free, you know, we use soy milk, vegan cheese, um, and obviously salads, you know, sandwiches, another delicious fare that they can find in there. As Wendy Valentine explains, a diet without animal products equals health and vitality. A meat-free diet is a much healthier diet um, for the population. When there's rationing on animal produce, there were so many less heart attacks and people are much healthier. And it's only in the last few years that animal factory farming has intensified. People are having a change their diets and they're eating more fat, more animal produce. You know, we've seen so many meat-related diseases, you know, that people are, are succumbing to. People who care about animals and about their own health and about, you know, the environment should look to reducing or totally cutting out, you know, their intake of animal produce. A very important message from Ms. Valentine is the necessity to eliminate animal products from our diets as the consequences of consumption, such as the swine flu pandemic, a virus that originated from the intensive pig farming industry, are quite clear. For 15, 20 years ago, um, there were several television programmes that I remember seeing where it was predicted, you know, that um, bug resistant um, uh, or antibiotic resistant bug would prevail and that's certainly what's happened in the last few years. And they say what goes around comes around and I think um, with the factory farming industry, the way animals have been treated, it certainly is coming around. You know, I've seen, been in so many factory farms when we're doing the undercover investigations that we have people who actually go out and, and, and get the evidence and the footage. But you know, several times a year I would go out and for particular cases. And when you see, just for instance, a shed full of thousands, literally thousands of say turkeys, you know, in there, and it's just a sea of white, you know, white turkeys. They've got hardly any air in there. There, they see no daylight. Um, they're just living on, on excrement. The, the smell in those places, the ammonia, is something you can't capture on footage. And um, those birds and animals that they suffer horrendously just for people to eat. 
And of course, we're talking about the birds the such as the bees. ones we have here that's around right. us. And that's where they've been rescued from. But turkeys, sheep and pigs and cows, you know, they recognise you and you can talk to them just like you can horses and dogs. And there's that bond and you, you know, can be affectionate with them and they can be affectionate back. And, uh, um, and of course, every animal is, is different in, in its makeup, but well, they're just all worthy to be loved, really, and, uh, and lead a, a life for which they deserve. When we return, we will speak with a Hillside staff member and some of the guests visiting the sanctuary. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Animal World, our co-inhabitants on Supreme Master Television. Ms Wendy Valentine and the staff at Hillside Animal Sanctuary in Frettenham and West Runton, UK, truly love their work, taking excellent care of the sanctuary's over 900 residents, many of whom have been rescued from cruel factory farms. The dedication and passion of the staff members brings much joy and love into their fellow beings' lives. Let us now hear from Tim Steam one of the caring individuals who works at the sanctuary. How would you say the people benefit from being here with the animals? I'd like to think it's quite, quite a good impact, making them change the way they see the animals. What do you think the benefits are of a vegetarian diet? Well, I think, uh, first of all, you are definitely more healthier and you don't eat all the toxins that you find in meat. Also, you don't encourage the industry to produce uh, meat and eggs. I think the best thing is just thinking of the animals before you start eating meat, really. Among the fine guests we met at the sanctuary was the Dane family. We spoke first with Miranda Dane about her experiences with the animals. OK, tell us about the animals. They'd like us all to be vegan and be nice to them. Tell us a little bit about your experience with animals. Well, one day, um, the area manager came round, he was from the RSPB, he came to the door and uh, he was talking to Daddy and I heard him say that um, there was a cow in the woods and he, he had to go off to the slaughterhouse. Oh, right. And, and I overheard this. I said to Daddy when he finished talking, oh, I can't bear this to happen. So I suggested a hillside animal sanctuary. And um, so after several phone calls and um, a few weeks, they caught it in the barn and it's, it's now happy here at Hillside. What do you do to help people um, understand that it's better not to eat animals? Well, I hand out leaflets and I explain to people, you know, the benefits and everything. And um, I showed them DVDs and all sorts of things and stuff like that. How did that come about, you going and handing out leaflets? So I started getting leaflets yeah. and I decided it would be a good idea to um, start handing them out. They have the benefits on them and how good it is for the planet. You're very young. What would you like to see the world like in a few years? I'd like to see peace and everyone to be vegan. Just peace. Is there any message you'd like to give to other children? Uh, yeah, just be kind to animals and, you know, be nice and, you know, be vegan. The Dane family enjoys Supreme Master Television and sends their thanks to Supreme Master Ching Hai. Now, you, you as a family, you watch Supreme Master Television. Oh, it's about the only thing worth watching on, on television. It, it's wonderful. Um, we particularly enjoy the recipe programmes that... Um, that uh, gave us lots of interesting ideas when we were uh, first becoming vegan uh, but Supreme Master Ching Hai is so beautiful and so inspiring and, and we just like to thank her very much for what she's doing. It's such a wonderful treat, a wonderful surprise to watch Supreme Master TV and it's very uplifting, very positive channel. We really enjoy it.
recognition of the splendid work on behalf of and the love shown to farm animals, Supreme Master Ching Hai provided in the form of a cheque a kind-hearted contribution of 1,000 US dollars to Hillside Animal Sanctuary. That's absolutely brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant because that will really help towards feeding and care for our rescued animals and, and promoting um, vegetarianism and veganism. So that's, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. The number one international best-selling book, The Noble Wilds, by Supreme Master Ching Hai, was also gifted to the sanctuary. This is one of Supreme Master Ching Hai's books called The Noble Wilds. It's a beautiful illustrated book. Most of the photographs in there are taken by Supreme Master Ching Hai. Oh God, it's amazing. It's just so simple and it's just beautiful. Would you like to say anything to Supreme Master Ching Hai? I, I'm just so astounded that, um, that you had this um, television um, channel which is just going to all throughout the world and um, promoting um, peace and, and kindness to animals. You know, I just think it's absolutely brilliant. Our sincere appreciation to Miss Wendy Valentine and to all the wonderful staff at Hillside Animal Sanctuary for providing loving care to the residents and creating a greater public awareness about the need to safeguard our animal friends, thus moving many people towards more compassionate lifestyles. Thank you for joining us today on Animal World, our co-inhabitants. Enlightening Entertainment is next, following noteworthy news. May all animals and humanity live together in peace and harmony. details please see www.suprememastertv.com forward slash aw